In this video, I just want to quickly address one question that comes up in C, and that's what's the deal with main returning a value? So the deal with main returning a value is it's actually going to return that value essentially to the terminal, to the shell that is using our program. And the shell might use that to detect whether an error has occurred with our program. So let's say we want to use a regular bash shell command like ls-l, and we get a whole list of the files in this directory here. Now, normally that command is going to exit with a status of zero. So if I were to say here, echo dollar sign question mark, so echo dollar sign question mark, what that gives me is basically the return value of the last program that ran, the status that it exit with. And here we get zero because I just use ls in an okay way. But if I were to say here ls dash l, and now I'm gonna put some garbage here like x, y, z, and I do enter now. So now it says here ls, a legal option, and it tells me the usage of it. And basically I ran the program that in, in a way that wasn't okay to run it. Now if I were to run this again here, echo dollar sign question mark, I now get this status of one. So this here is telling me the status of basically the last program that ran in terms of its exit status. And we got zero if the program ran okay, and one if it didn't. We get one as basically an error code. Now with main, we've got here return zero. And if I were to just compile this program, so I'll say clear here, if I were to compile this program here and run it, eventually when I get to my GCC here, so if I, if I compile it here and run it, and we do the same sort of thing, we do the echo dollar sign question mark, we get a status of zero. If I were to change it to one, then we're gonna get one back when we run the program and do echo dollar sign question mark. And so what we can do with our main function is depending on the work that our program has done, we can actually have it return, you know, one or zero based on whether it's a invalid or valid run of the program. Maybe the command line arguments are wrong. Maybe the program experiences some kind of error. And we can basically signal to the shell that an error has occurred by changing the return value. And so we could optionally return something versus returning something else. So we could say here like int input is equal to zero. We'll say here printf enter. And then we'll say scanf and we're gonna store the data into input. And we're gonna say here if input is equal to, we'll say, or maybe it's like input is greater than five, we'll say return zero, else we'll return one. And so our program is now optionally returning different return values based on some kind of interaction or some kind of processing that happens in the program. So if we compile it and run it and I put in like 10, then we exit with a status of zero. But if I run it and put in say like three, then we exit with a status of one. And we're basically signaling, depending on what's going on in our program, whether we exited with an okay status or a not okay status. And basically zero is considered exit okay. Anything that's not zero is considered some kind of error has occurred. And where this might come up is if we have say bash shell scripts or even things like scripts inside of make files and things like that executing our, our, our program, they might want to know was that execution successful and they might want to do different behaviors based on whether it was successful or not. And so it's a simple thing, but that's the deal with the return value in the main function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.